I'd like to welcome you to Who Wants to Star in a Movie, where actors and actresses perform their best 60 to 90 second monologue for an opportunity to star in their own movie. Order in the court. And as I got older, I understood why only the cows would laugh and run, and then I started to read about hamburgers, steak sandwich, and barbecue ribs. It gives me hope is people coming together to protect one another. Closet doors lead to more than just attires. Closet doors hold the truth about who we are and how we are wired. Why should they come out and fight? They lead that road to the core. Hello, this is God's Kingdom TV. We are bringing you live news report from the Kingdom of God. Domestic violence is a pattern of someone trying to intimidate the other person and use control. When you um, are diagnosed with HIV, you should never lower your standards. The Council of the City of Philadelphia takes great pleasure in recognizing the Independent Film Association of Philadelphia for hosting the second annual Philadelphia Independent Film Awards. Come on, Sean. I gotta go. I'd have been done, Pops, if you helped out. Always rushing somebody. <laughs> Jumping right into it, um, we see all kinds of crimes happen all the time, but why the crimes against transgender men and women? Now, it's Women Talk Live with April J, Sassy Scribe, and Tyra Hill. Live. We've got a bang up job for you starting right this show. For instance, we're gonna have an update on marijuana. We are a youth-led news show that highlights the positive things youth are doing in the city and youth perspectives on different issues. In our 23rd episode, we are focusing on environmental justice. American Dance Wheels is an organization that teaches people uh, who use wheelchairs how to dance with a standing partner. I'm from Syria. I came to the United States last June. But most of the time, all my life, I spent it in the, in the DRC. I'm married and I have one child. He's five years old. I think that murals, street art, and graffiti are unnecessary. And I feel that each one of them serves their own purpose. His bridle is made with uh, solid security card badges along with military bars, which Surprised me to see military bars in the junk. I also was my production teacher. Um, a lot of networking, so you pull from those resources. My dad says some cops have an itchy trigger finger when it comes to black people. Did he shot by the police? No, but my cousin Isaiah did. Let me tell you something. Back in the 60s, playing the daily number, it was a street thing. I know that they're talking about it. I know that it's starting a lot of conversations and it's feeding into a lot of negative things that they associate with queer people. And is it really all right with you? On average, that revenue has been about $7 million a month. A month that's going to go towards fixing rec centers in your neighborhood. So, Stay tuned. I was telling him about the hijab incident that happened earlier at lunch, and he just went off on me. Maybe we should get everyone involved in this conversation. We could get the principal and the dean. Maybe your mom should be involved in the conversation. You know, we got to move our bodies, too. Yes. Just can't simply yes. talk eating. You got to do something about it. You have to rehabilitate yourself. If you're looking for the government to rehabilitate you so you can come home and be productive in society, you done really lost your mind. Take it, right?
G-Man. And he works for you. You won't kill him for trying to sell drugs to your daughter. How do you think we feel? Because I was sitting on the bus coming home, and people were talking to themselves. See, I, the, the phones were new to me. I didn't know about the wires and the ears. And I'm looking around the bus, and I'm thinking, oh, what happened out here? The world went crazy. Do you believe that the history of slavery um, in legal segregation and the way people viewed us during that time has an effect on how young black men view themselves now? Before becoming the 2A state player of the year, tragedy struck. <laughs> Tamir Green was faced with the harsh reality of growing up in one of the toughest neighborhoods there is. I want my friends to recognize me at the funeral. My mom would actually sneak to work. So in him trying to be what he deemed to be the man of the house, he was stripping her or he stripped her of her own independence. <laughs> Protest. We all have an assumption about what the people should look like that are going to support this cause. You know, and then you meet people that don't fit that demographic and you learn. A punk rock girl, he makes the censure that is our vice president, it's Jazza Dugamel. Yeah, y'all for me, punk rock girl. I have two special guests, Elder and Evangelist Sullivan, and they're going to tell us that with Christ I can overcome, overcome addiction. addiction. Overcome addictions. Violence, death, pain, hurt, betrayal, humiliation, and struggle. This will be God's way of saying, my son, I love you. My body has a memory that it can't escape. Every time a man tries to touch me or come close to my waist, I fold. I'm like an embryo still awaiting your delivery. When it's all said and done, okay. God put everybody on this planet together to work it out. I thought if he could courageously just go home, that I could courageously start speaking out about it. Speaking out about what I had seen in Iraq. Give us the I, I owned that business. I owned that business yeah. and it was successful. Mm -hmm. And I, it gave me some flexibility and some leeway to try new things, I think. Hey guys, you are tuned into WPPM 106.5 FM. Trouble bag, trouble baby. After me, you can tell by the look of the face. They're confused like what is this place? Take a bullet, choose an outcome. I'm trying to tell you, came before the day your mother bore. The God of heaven made you a mind for so much more. Then busting guns, trapping, selling dope from the back porch. And missing out on the core of what you were here for. We also saw the emergence of the first black filmmakers with shorts, where they began with the railroad porter, uh, first seeing Uncle Tom's cabin roles played by black Sam Lucas being the first black actor. If I could have a nine to five, right. a three to eleven, right. an eleven and seven, mm -hmm. I wouldn't even care what the hours were. Right. I would rather be working right, right. sitting out here. Freezing my behind all right. on a daily basis. For a dollar. This year we decided to focus our campaign on improving foster youth experience in court for youth ages 14 through 21. This is a spark generator. It's not a bomb. Stop acting like it's a bomb. I cut all the wires and it disconnects the power. Health insurance is a really complex system. I cannot read my insurance policy. I don't understand it. The variation in what hospitals are getting paid was more dramatic than we thought. We have a problem which we are referring to as the miseducation of the Negroes or African peoples. I mean, there are 13 classifications of mums, and we have examples of all 13 here at Longwood Gardens. The economy is will suffer. Too many of us now tend to worship self-indulgence and consumption. As I heard you say you lost your father, and so we don't realize, even though we think it doesn't bother us, you're looking for that love. The crisis in, in Flint, Michigan has a lot, it's, it's political. 
There's no doubt about that. I've been an advocate of a universal single payer health care for many years. I've been a very unpopular view. We want fully funded community schools, something that everyone can you know be a part of. You know, we want our students teachers and parents to have a voice in how our children are educated. Women in Media was actually the name of the first event and that was where you know we said calling all women in media come out to a workshop own your voices you know yes. and so what we do is empower equip and encourage women in media and women to own their voices. It turns out in terms of turnout that when you speak to voters, even if they may not agree with you on your opposition to the death penalty, they probably really do agree with you on economic equality. They probably really do agree with you on drug treatment because someone there in their family has been affected. Because of all the negative news about how harmful immigration is, we, we have decided to create a documentary showing the diversity and the immigration in our community and in our school and how that strengthens us. Well, too many people on social media are doing the same thing. That's for one. But Everyone's that's, doing it. But, but, but I mean, I, honestly, isn't thing. hold. But honestly, this goes off of social media. This goes to history. Ain't that what we do? We follow each other. She watched her life as she would a story, absorbing the view. And today, they estimate that ninety-nine thousand Gulf War veterans were exposed to sarin and mustard gas. If you match that against the VA's records, you'll find that those 99,000 are 45% more likely to be suffering illnesses and to be getting paid disability. Um, hi. Um, we want you guys to have our food. You forgot Thank the you. ketchup. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're the only one to not just notice, but to show care. So the big thing is it's super efficient. So instead of you know, putting overhead sprinklers or something like that where you're wasting water in the pathways and everywhere else, you're really just targeting the root system with the drip irrigation system. Uh, it's different from the old Japanese jiu-jitsu programs. It focused on the grappling and the throwing. It has uh, chokes and arm locks. So a little bit of striking for some of the self-defense portion, portions of the things we do. say your grandma got a curse on it. What? I told you, it's probably just some crazy talk. You know, where did you even hear something like that? Our show is about empowering our young women not to be concerned about fitting into a glass slipper, but to be concerned about breaking glass ceilings. And we have to really escalate the noise we make so that we'll be heard. from our own Philly Cam, <laughs> king of the oldies, Chef Ali Hackett. Where, where is the heels of my mother? I'm your host, Snooky Blaze, and like I told you, we are bringing you all independent, underground artists, producers, designers, entrepreneurs. So for those who don't know, can you explain what your organization does? Taller Puerto Ricano is a culture center in the heart of the Puerto Rican and Latino community in Philadelphia, and our programs uh, support uh, Puerto Rican and Latino arts. Hey guys, this is Haley with Bright Star Buzz here at the Barberry in Philadelphia where we just got a chance to check out Resilient during the release party. We do it for the vibe, but we learn how to write. Nah, no, youth, that ain't right. Sit back and understand. It's that slave money putting iPhones in your hand. Tonight, four of the finest actors America has to offer compete for a chance to go from being an undiscovered diamond in the rough to the next shining star. We're off the charts here with this one. We are doing a k tell album from 1973. 
may come and join us. <laughs> and um, we will add you to our team. And for sure, next year, we'll reach the final. And like I said, I'll keep saying thank you because it was a very, a very nice experience. Because Cleveland down. had nothing to offer to make it worthwhile. And the bigger piece is they did not want LeBron and Carmelo to play together because that would give Carmelo his best chance at a championship. So I said, Gretchen. We should do something amazing for the Philly Cam members. It should be called not the Grammys, but the Camis. And Gretchen says, generation are still a little bit scared about the way things progress so rapidly. Um, uh, there are even, you know, some programs that I've opened up recently and looked at it, I have no idea. Jeff, what do you got to say? Uh, what do you got to say? Wow, I, I don't know what I have to say. Well, this is it. This is this is what you're watching right now. So tune in or not. Only human, I made some mistakes. Some issues don't talk, just resolve with the age. What particular textile or weaving or other techniques are associated with Ga people? I think the first thing that comes to mind is uh, the kente cloth. Welcome to the show, Andrew. Thanks for having me. Uh, so let's start, first start with kind of your experience with the film festival, how mm -hmm. you got involved. Um, I actually, I made the film for our class at University of Michigan. Tell me what's wrong. It will help you, you'll see. I stood up. Still somber, slouch over real slow. These tags have survived decades of criminalization. But what of the more recent forces of gentrification and privatization? What does the writing on the walls say to us and about us? So on Thanksgiving, if that's the day we pray to the universe, thanks, then why don't we not eat that day? Why do you eat more that day than you eat any other day in the year? That's all I'm trying to say. Most of the time when I do scratches, it's either it'll be suggested to me like Google, might tell me a scratch. Jay Z has told me what to scratch, uh, and then uh, otherwise it's just me. But tonight, I thought I would paint the town red, and look at this beautiful Red Sea of people behind me, all here for an amazing cause. We are supporting the American Red Cross. This is the Red Ball. I'm your host, Nosh, and this is Social Scenes. All right, one day when Sonia comes, shake loose my skin, wounded. Um, Storm was definitely um, a big factor in me getting into comics, but I think that just the whole world of the X-Men sort of drew me in because the stories were so, Again, uh, thoughtful and well-written. Captain Smith and Pocahontas had a very mad affair. <clears throat> when her daddy tried to kill him, she said, Daddy, don't you dare. He gave me fever. Are you satisfied with your internal, you know, financial folks? Are you satisfied with your external folks to maximize your tax position, etc.? And also to begin to position the company for sale. People are noticing what's going on around them and with the way their neighborhoods are changing. There are a lot of mixed feelings about the development, but a lot of resentment about the displacement occurring. Courts threatened to shut our system down if we did not take aggressive uh, steps to reduce the prison population. So we did. How can we reduce recidivism? That's the $100,000 question, and I have the answer. 
don't go to jail. They called him Dummy Hoy. No, not because he was stupid. He happened to be very smart. But because that's what hearing people call deaf mutes back in his day. I will be collaborating with the mayors and other legislators so I can identify the positive changes that we will be doing and also highlight the country's. Ready? Okay. One. One, two, three. <laughs> Good job. I went All off right. to school. Um, in that duration, I was given an opportunity to work um, in LA. Now, I, I know Sri Lanka is a part of Asia. It's just weird having to claim something so new to people. Because in all honesty, I never called myself Blasian until... The cans are neglected. Their existence is thin. There's no place for the trash to go in. It jams up machinery, it clogs up the screens. They're really, really hard material to manage. I just ate a whole then, turkey. Then, right, exactly. And then, okay. and then they feel horrible. So right. I, I am I'm much more sensitive and much more I, I'm I'm more particular about the things that I choose and as far as eating. But the key to this was this was the spot, and uh, I'll, I'll never forget that. I'll never forget the feeling that I was at the center of the black college universe right here at, uh, in West Philadelphia. You fool! You fool! You fool! You fool! You fool! You fool! dentro de lo que viene siendo la participación en arte colectivo. Stay out my lane, lane. flow is insane. insane. I got racks in my pocket, pocket. racks in the bank. I go stupid hard, my team know. Uh. Pinky ring, my chain glow. Uh. Pocket stick like play doh. Well. What is media literacy? I don't know. Don't know? Every day we are bombarded with so much media. I change the question around a lot. Okay. With why did they stay? Um, because it's not really a fair question. Yeah. That's, um, there's a lot of research done in trauma. Dr. Herman has written an amazing book about trauma and recovery. I know y'all think I have lost my swag because you I'm do. fabulous, but I fabulous. still know how to turn up. Yes, Let's ladies. get our stuff and get ready to go to the club Thank right you. now. Do I have to do the whole thing? And you gave me this big pineapple? <laughs> We go around other circles of the group of people, and I hear men talking about, yeah, I mean, well, men cheat sometimes, and it's all good, that's what they do. It's like, that's not what they do, mm. no. Carmela Polonio Hernández de México encontró santuario en la iglesia de Advocate con sus cuatro hijos, Fidel, Katie, Jocelyn y Edwin. We need to stop normalizing people thinking, oh yeah, I have a breather, or of course we have, I actually have two breathers. And it's like, no, nah, we need to interrupt that. They were just trying to get rid of their waste cheaply. And the cheapest way to do it was to just dump it in the river. As always, there are things to negotiate. I call it the geography of dancing with a broken body. Tonight, they are very smart people. I want you people to join us to sing this song because this song stands for total peace in the world. I've been writing letters to her. Every time I think about her, I write a letter. 
I never send them though. This week's motivational thought is, don't let the laughs of people discourage you. By the way, re returning and re-entry, it's just a point in time. That's a point in time where you leave a facility and you come out. I'm sorry, mass incarceration, does that sound familiar? That wasn't something that necessarily was pushed for by the community. A lot of negativity when it comes to black women you know, our hair and this and that and makeup and not only help our own children, but to help the people in the neighborhood to have something to do, the younger kids have something to do besides, you know, hanging on the corners, getting into trouble. I tend to find my mind is so mesmerized by you. Who were they living with and where were they living? Why am I talking about the 1940 census? Because that is the newest census record that is available to researchers. 